Good morning. Welcome to Plant City. Today, I'll introduce the fundamental unit of plant life, plant cells. Professor Sequoia, what is a plant cell? A plant cell is a structure and functional unit for all plant organisms. There are millions of cells in an organism. A plant cell is extremely small, but it's blown only on a microscope. A plant cell is a eukaryotic cell. They are cells with well-defined nucleus. Professor Sequoia, why are plant cells important? Why should we study about plant cells? Good question. Let me tell you. Did you know that most of the oxygen that humans breathe are made by plant cells? For example, plant cells perform unique functions, such as the process of photosynthesis, through which sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide are transferred into energy and oxygen that humans breathe. Plant cells are so cool. What makes up a plant cell? Another good question. You can think of a plant cell as a city with various organelles, carrying out important functions to keep the plant alive. A plant cell has a cell wall just like a wall around the city to protect its people from invaders. Cell wall provides a solid framework and defines what part of a cell is inside and what part is outside. In a cell membrane, like a gate security at the city entrance, the cell membrane controls the input-output interactions of the cell and dictates what particles may enter and what particles may exit through a process called selective permeability. The plant cell processes its food through the chloroplast, just like food processing plant in a city. Chloroplasts help perform photosynthesis by taking in sunlight and carbon dioxide and create energy for the cell. There's a vacuole that acts like a warehouse, storing water and other important ingredients. The endoplasmic reticulum, ER, serves the transportation company to deliver essential ingredients for the plant cell. The endoplasmic reticulum is a complex membrane-based network of sac-like structures held together in a cytoplasm, which transfer molecules and particles through the cell using truck-like carriers called Golgi apparatuses. Then we have the Golgi, Golgi apparatuses, comparable to truck-like carriers which move particles and molecules for the cell, acting as transportation for the cell in the endoplasmic reticulum. The executive nucleolus acts like a mayor's office. The nucleolus controls the executive activity within the nucleus of the cell and contains the chromosomes and the DNA of the cell. Nucleus is a functionality um, equivalent to city hall. The mitochondria acts as a powerhouse of the cell, which transforms the cell's food into energy, comparable to a coal power plant. The mitochondria are responsible for combining sugars and oxygen particles to form energy through a process called ATP. ATP provides energy to the cell, which is either used up on the spot or stored in the vacuum for later use. The ribosomes make the proteins required to build the cell, similar to lumber yard in the city that store lumber used to build houses. The ribosomes are one of the major par particle groups that are transported on Golgi apparatuses, which in turn are transported around the cell with endoplasmic reticulum which are one of the major building blocks of the city. Finally, there is a cytoplasm, which is a gel-like fluid found throughout the cell, similar to undeveloped open spaces around the city.